So how you can tell the difference between global variable and the regular variable, right? So global variables are declared with two at symbols. At, at, right? So two at. Uh, what are variable you guys declare? They're single, basically, um, uh, at symbol. So at, at identity is a global variable. Um, there is a second global variable is a at, at row count. Okay, so I'll show you how we can uh, use those things. So let me go here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to write a small query here, um, small insert statement, okay? So here, what I have is, so I have a patient ID, right? This is the local variable I have declared. Um, then I have the insert statement, right? This is a regular insert statement. Okay. So if I run the insert statement, okay, I'm just running the insert statement only. So I can execute it. Let me go and select the database. It says one row is affected, right? But I don't know what is the patient ID. Un un unless I go and query my database, I'm not gonna be able to find my patient ID, right? Um, so only way I would know is I will take and write select star from patient and uh, figure out what is my patient ID. So I go to the last record and that's what my patient ID is 1014. So last one is 1014, right? Uh, but when I'm writing a program, I probably want to use the patient ID uh, that is uh, being generated. So think through, this is my SQL script, right? So I'm inserting a patient and now I'm reading the patient ID. I need to read the patient ID because I need to create a relationship with the demographics table. Um, so if you go back here, uh, the demographics, right? So you have patient table, you create a record in the patient table first, you read the ID, and then insert another record in the demographics table. How would you know otherwise create a relationship between those two tables? Uh, you have primary key and foreign key relationship, right? Mm -hmm. And you are inserting uh, those those things. You would not have any other way unless you, you grab the ID that is generated here and read it in your program and then start using it in other places. So what I mean is there, uh, I have an insert into demographics. Okay, this is my script. So again, I have a patient ID. Now in the demographics, it's not auto-generated, right? Because uh, it's, it's, it's not auto number. It's not identity column in the demographics. So here, I have to do it like that. Um, demographics has uh, what columns we got here. Let's take a look at it. Okay, patient ID, birth date. Uh, gender, marital status. Okay. And then I have values. Uh, so what are patient ID value is? If I don't know patient ID, then I would do something like that, 1014, right? 1014, what is a 1000, uh, 12, 12, 2000. Um, gender is male. And marital status is uh, single. Okay. So I have to do something like that. But how do I do programmatically? So what I need to do is I need to read the value after this insert statement, and this is where identity comes in the picture. Okay. So what I can do here is I have this variable declared at the top, which is called patient ID. So I can populate the patient ID value is equal by going against the global variable identity column. Okay. So this line, <coughs> so this line will read the value. Uh, of the identity, last identity value that is inserted, okay? And then it will populate into my local variable and I can use the local variable to insert into the demographics table, okay? So I can change this here to add patient ID, okay? All right, and so this one, this value, water value is uh, read from here, it will be inserted along with this other other records. So this is the one practical usage of a global variable called identity. Okay? And you're gonna be um, doing that probably uh, when you are creating your test data. 
So you have to do write the scripts, something like this, and that this is where it will be used uh, for you guys uh, from the QA perspective. Okay. So if I run this script again, let me change it to 2035. And now I can run this uh, script. And it says one row, so one row is affected, right? Both rows affected. And I, I can go and query it now. Select star from patient. Um, and do select star from demographics. Order by uh, patient ID decently. Okay. So I'm just for sorting by patient ID. So I want to see the top one first. Okay, so I have James Wally 1015, right? And I will have corresponding demographics record with the 1015 here. Okay. So this is programmatic way of creating, populating multiple tables. Um, now, if you are doing the address, right? Patient address, you can do the same way. Insert into patient address and use the same patient ID. This is how you create the relationship. Uh, if you have to do it uh, from the back end. Uh, use uh, this patient ID um, or identity column or identity global variable. Okay. You can have as many table as you want uh, and work through that. Any question on this one? Okay. All right, so for now, just remember that the, this one is used basically uh, to read the identity value inserted in, from the table. Okay, whatever is the last value, it gets inserted, it will up, get populated here. And then you can load it in the variable and then use the variable every, wherever you need. So in this script, uh, instead of writing, uh, I can, I'm just uh, creating whatever, um, select star from where patient ID is equal at patient ID. So my script is actually written in Executing some SQL script, uh, the read statement, uh, select statement. <coughs> okay. So this is uh, one of the helpful uh, identity um, uh, global variable. Do you guys want to work through one example, small exercise? Uh, how about you guys work through this one? Okay. The same exercise, and I want to make sure you guys understand once you execute it. Um, so identity column, right? I mean, we, we have table uh, that has identity columns, which is what? Uh, patient table, right? We have auto number generation. So this is identity, this is a global variable, right? Uh, it's, uh, you can define the, well, it, these are built-in SQL global variables, okay? So added identity is a global variable. Um, and then what happens is when you insert a value into here, into patient, the last value, last record that is inserted, uh, whatever the identity uh, value is or auto number value is, it gets populated into this variable automatically. You don't programmatically do anything. So as soon as you insert, this one will get whatever the last number that is used uh, for, for this table, okay? And what we are doing here, uh, we are basically reading this value and populating into our local variable so that we can use it everywhere. Uh, so once I populate into this our variable, then I'm using it to basically insert a demographics basically record. If I have a patient address, right, I can do insert into patient address, whatever address value and uh, put the patient ID, same this value, uh, variable. So I can link up all the tables. Linking like a relationship, right, it doesn't happen automatically. You have to, everything you have to program. Okay, so this is the way you can do it. And this is very common uh, technique you can use uh, in the in the any database, not just SQL Server, but Oracle and uh, something like that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Can you see the identity code that you use? Right. So, so this this is a built-in variable, right? SQL Server variable. <coughs> Yeah, so my question is, you see how you made us uh, draw those tables uh, for the normalization? Well, okay, so let's let's go back here, right? So we have a diagram here. 
I think, uh, what is it? Okay, so this is a diagram, right? Yeah. That's right. So, right. That's correct. So, identity is, uh, let's identify the identity ones, right? So, you have identity here. I think this one, uh, I'm not sure this one is identity or not, but you have to look into the definition, whether it's identity or not. Okay. So this is not identity, but this is the one that is now, when you are populating the tables, right? Without patient, you cannot create any other records. Mm -hmm. So you have to have patient record first, and then any corresponding, you can do it uh, in uh, other, other tables. So you're gonna insert a record here first, programmatically, okay? Then you're gonna read the ID, and then you will say, I'm gonna do demographics. Mm -hmm. So I'm, because it's not identity, you need to have a patient ID here, mm -hmm. right? So you will insert other values, just like we did. I showed you example, mm -hmm. right? Then you go to major illness, okay? Then you will insert whatever in the same script, you're gonna have major illness, but you will also need patient ID. So you can use the same variable, okay? Um, same way. Now insurance table, right? Mm -hmm. Now these are not, there's no identity here, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to go and do the insurance first, grab the ID, okay? Grab the insurance ID, which is again auto number for insurance table. Uh, then you're gonna use two variables now to insert into this table. So your script can be really long, okay? If you are populating everything into one single script. So I have a bunch of insert statements in my script and uh, then I'm uh, running it uh, with the different values. That's how you, that's the only way you can program it. Um, otherwise, if you are writing in the basically single one, then you have to go read the patient ID and then figure out which patient I'm inserting record for. Right? Instead of that, you can do uh, write a program. Which uh, which I just showed you, small program. Kind of so, like that. so then you can also you can relate tables. Relate the tables, yeah. This is how you can insert primary key, foreign key, relationship, and everything. Let's work through one small example that you guys have, right? Uh, see if you guys uh, understand a little bit further. I think it's a uh, page number. <laughs> 51, okay. <clears throat> or 50, uh, whichever one. 